What's the crack, lads? We are back with a bang. It's Monday. We've got our new Spanish League Showtime cards. You've got Bellingham, Valverde, and of course, Lamine Yamal as well. This guy has been tearing it up at the Euros. Bellingham hasn't really caught fire yet. And of course, Valverde, just one of the most, like, I would say, probably the most, like, you know, fit into any tactics, any formation, any system, any play style type of players in eFootball. Very underrated. He finally gets a card that he deserves, right? So we're just going to give a brief rundown, rundown of these. I will be back streaming. Throat's still a bit sore. Um, we had a crazy couple of days at the wedding. So we are going to give a quick rundown through these cards. We're also going to take a quick look, but not really do training guides. If you want to see training guides on these guys that are part of the other selection, to be honest with you, lads, at this stage in the game, unless you're a newcomer, you don't really need to be going for these. I mean, you should be going for these uh, three players if you're looking for that. You know, Yamal, uh, Bellingham and Valverde are definitely worth going for. But these guys, yeah, they will boost up your squad if you're a newcomer, but they're not that different from GP. You know, you'd never be spinning and saying like, oh, I want to get Koke here with this pack and spending coins on it. It's just madness, really. But we are going to start with Jude Bellingham. Now, Bellingham, by my count, has had about 14 cards, I think. He's down as a whole player. I'm actually going to hide my face cam here a sec to show his booster. And he can play in a lot of different positions. You can train him for a CF, an SS, left side, right side, DMF. You can train all of those with him, but he can play as an AMF and a CMF off the rip. He's down as a whole player, so that is why I would build him as an AMF. Now, I want to show you something very unique about this Bellingham. He obviously has 35 levels. He also has Striker's Instinct as his booster. So this is definitely the card that a lot of people were probably waiting for. This is definitely like his Real Madrid kind of season card, you know, where he was obviously scoring lots of goals and getting into those positions. Playing as kind of like a second striker, you know, like kind of like a shadow striker just behind the CF, you know, um, because obviously Madrid don't play that direct kind of number nine. Double touch, soul control, and of course he has interception and, and fighting spirit. This card does not have, um, from the rip, he does not have flip flap. So if you want advanced double touch or ball roll, this is not going to be it uh, off the rip. Bellingham needs that to be trained on him. But he's got trickster, amazing run inside his run along ranger, and first time shot, one touch pass, true passing, and interception of fighting spirit. Very nice card. He does need a bit of work. He definitely needs weighted pass. He needs low lofted pass for a whole player. And I would say I'd also give him, because of his animation, I would 100% try and give him flip-flap as well. He's on A rating, and this is his booster. He goes to 88 overall without any manager boosts. Usually when I'm training players, I don't take the manager boost into consideration. I try and get the certain thresholds hit, so I try and get his finish into 85. And if he gets a boost up to 88 or 90, then that's a huge bonus. But because the manager boost can sometimes, you know, like not work the way that you want it to work, or you might change formation, or you might change tactics or whatever, it can be sometimes better to train your card exactly how you want him. Go for the stats you want from him, okay? Now, we're going to show you a quick little build of him here over on eFootballDB. They have updated a lot of the stuff here. Um, and this is the build that we've gone for so far. Now, you're going to get 100 overall Bellingham here in game right this is going to be no manager boost nothing okay now i know that they are working on those features but i do like the simplicity of this where it's like okay well what level are they going to be if i put six into shooting what do i have left over and stuff like that right so this is what i've gone for six into shooting five passing nine dribbling ten decks and then seven into lower body now we are obviously taking his booster into consideration which is striker's instinct as i said the team at eFootball db They've promised me they are working on a lot of the new features in line for eFootball 2025 with the manager boosts and the tactics and all that sort of stuff, okay? But I do like this card. And still, you've got 11 progression points left here. And with the manager boost, you're going to be hitting, with this build that you see on screen, over 90 with offensive awareness, ball control, dribbling is going to be 90 with the boost, and then tight possession is going to be over 90. Finishing is going to be 90 with the boost as well. Speed, acceleration, kick and power, balance and stamina, all where you need them to be. I would not, and I've seen a few people ask me already on Twitter and Discord, I would not bring this card up past 78 aggression because you will be getting that up to 80 with the boost. I don't think that you need it. That still leaves eight points. I would be playing this Bellingham, you know, really in one position and that would be an attacking midfielder shooting ball like playing as a very silky kind of tall unique player in that role you know as that attacking midfielder i wouldn't really be dependent on him to win the ball back he'll still do it from his ai and stuff his player skills and stuff um and his player id 
But yeah, I would definitely go for a fully, you know, 95% attack and build with this Bellingham. Depending on how you play then, you can actually bring up his shooting a little bit if you wanted to go there. Or, of course, you could leave that at 85 with the manager boost then as well. You're going to be getting that. You could add a little bit more onto his acceleration uh, if you wanted. His stamina is more than enough. That's probably what I would do, to be honest with you. Maybe one or two onto aerial strength as well to create a really good hybrid attack and midfielder. It's a fantastic card. Now, Valverde is kind of an interesting one, right? Because we do have a lot of... Um, box to box players i won't spend as long as valverde uh, because i want to get onto yamal as well but this guy's got a wavering form he's a phenomenal player dueling plus two with the max booster he does have track back he has interception he has fortress he has fighting spirit one touch pass and of course first time shot with true pass and long range shooting very attack and build but i think what's unique about valverde is the fact that you can train him as even though he's a very attack and build from a skills point of view that you see here he is a very very defensive build um from his stats so that's a very unique build there um you know what you're getting with him that is the build that we've gone for there zero four eleven ten eight three eight a lot into defending yes but but as a defensive box to box if you're using him beside an anchorman he will need to cover a lot of ground so he needs max stamina and speed huge acceleration and kicking power for the passing and of course also for the speed and then his defensive stats there's no defensive stat going to be under 84 85 which is really really nice including that aggression I do really like Valverde. Anytime I've played him, he has been phenomenal for me. Uh, I do really like this card. I think it's a, a really, really nice card. And also, because of the Fortress there as well, if you, def if you, um, you know, obviously, the Fortress can be a little bit kind of, uh, you know, it can be a little bit under the radar, so to speak. Fortress isn't one of those, you know, Blitz Curler animation style player skills, but it's always nice to have a unique card as well. Now, next up, we have Lamine Yamal. This guy is an absolute beast. He's only 16 years of age. I knew that when Konami released a card for him, that they were going to release a good card. And this is a really, really good card. I mean, straight away, he's got kind of everything meta that you could possibly want from a winger without having to do anything to him for a first card at 16 years of age. Double touch, flip flap, and soul control with momentum dribbling and one touch pass, as well as true passing. And of course, long range curler with pinpoint crossing and outside curler phenomenal phenomenal start and base for your player skills for a player that is still going to have really really nice levels he's got 32 levels here you're that you're going to be able to use and we're going to use them and just put it basically make him just a speed start there's no point really doing anything else with him yes his finishing is low but we can get that to about 80 if we really want to right this is the build we've gone for 8 0 7 13 and 8 now that's going to max out his acceleration to about 100 obviously with the boosters here He's going to be getting a boost to speed and balance and dribbling and tight possession, but not to acceleration. So I would definitely go as high as you possibly can with the acceleration, balance and offensive awareness, which is dexterity, because you are going to hit ball control, dribbling and tight possession to 90 as well. Now, you could also go the opposite way, depending on because he's obviously got momentum dribbling. You could get seven or eight points back here and you could throw him into dribbling there um, and have two left for passing if you want to do that build. But that's going to put your ball control dribbling type possession a little bit up. It's not going to hit 95 with the ball control dribbling and type possession unless you have the manager boots and the big managers, right? But I do prefer balance and acceleration on smaller players. This guy is kind of like a bit of a hybrid because he's 180 centimeters. So it's, it's kind of a difficult one compared to, you know, smaller wingers build versus, you know, larger kind of wingers that need that raw um, stats, right? But yeah, it's a phenomenal card. Obviously, it's in a pack of 150 I think a lot of people have been waiting for this. I think it's slightly undercooked because Bellingham has had so many cards recently. He was in the England pack. He was in this pack, the player of the week. Um, you know, and I do think that this is the third in a row. I do think that uh, Yamal is going to be the pick of the pack here because it's just a very unique card. And I think that he will be absolutely buffed, um, you know, with the dribbling and momentum dribbling. So let's see. We will be streaming in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe. We are back, baby. I will talk to you in a little bit. Let me know if you spun the forum. And of course, we will be able to check out your builds forum on the stream later. Until then, I'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.